hello guys welcome back so welcome to the next tutorial of talent ETL so in this we will actually filter rows uh, from the data which we have which we have processed previously if you watched my previous video so I have processed the CSV data and sent the data to database table now what we'll do is uh, we will actually try to uh, do some filters on this uh, specific column called status so I'll be excluding all the values which are shipped and we'll only see which are disputed okay the the, uh, the data which is only with disputed okay so we'll just check it how this happens okay so in talent ETL just go to talent ETL so I'll just um, so deactivate this job uh, or else I can just um, one second add breakpoint Oh, sorry I'll just delete this one it's not necessary so T row filter so just filter I think yeah. F I L T E okay so T filter row I have so make sure what's the column name the status okay status should not be stiff just make copy this thing the exact name go to talent detail so we are sending the processed data which is the whole columns to the other uh, the whole columns and we are sending the same all columns to the row filter row so this will have all the columns now okay if you double click this so you can see we have schema here so this is having the same rows which we are getting from the out one and to the t filter row okay now here we have this column called uh, status so here so we'll just filter the status now okay now I'll just add it so here we can actually drop down the status function okay function uh, operator equals to sorry not equal to uh, in double quotes just paste the value okay so we are not writing any function here so just leave it here and the shift will be this one so shift will be excluded we are making not equals to now again we'll just go to t log row okay so this one so we'll try to run we'll we'll see whether that shift has been excluded or not from your job so just run it think we have to see the status now you can even make this to table format so that the output base like the output shows like in tabular format okay so I'll just run this once again okay now this looks fine now we'll go for the status column mm, double click this one so status you can see there is no shift in this we have like disputed in process disputed and all the stuff so you can add as many as filters here so we will even try to exclude this classic cards from this from the column product line okay so we'll make sure the classic cards won't show up just copy and double click here go to t filter row and add one more column so product line so product line is not equals to okay so classic cars finish just save it and try to run this so we should not be seeing the shift and classic cars from status and product line so double click this one now we have the data so product line doesn't have the classic cars now so this is a way you can actually filter okay so so that's it guys <laughs> so this is how you can actually do filters on your data then so in the previous video if you just check how I have sent the data to database table so you have to remove the T log row and process this data to database table so that's what you, you can do it okay so that's it guys thank you for watching so in the next video uh, we'll be discussing how to actually aggregate 
columns like uh, we do like some maximum minimum kind of functions in ETL and process the data okay so that's it guys thank you for watching